Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and I'm back and I'm doing this for today or maybe tomorrow because my husband is not here today in the site. He had to meet up his friend in Manila. That's why uh, he's not here today. But anyway, I would like to show you guys what's going on today. So we're gonna go inside their storage and let's see what they did already for the past few days. So it looks like today they just bent all this uh, for the footings and this is the 16mm and they're still uh, bending more over on the other side and I'll show you that later. And they did have this bent. I don't know how do you call that. That's why my husband is assigned for all these vlogs so he can explain what they call for each uh, materials. And then um, we're gonna show you guys uh, how they how do they bending uh, the 16 mm. It'll be interesting because it needs to have two person doing it. They're very strong. <laughs> <laughs> it requires two person for the 16 mm. Wow, they have more to go. I mean, there's their bending um, table works pretty good. This is what they accomplished so far. It's a lot. So they started bending this like since 8 a.m. and they bent already the one that's inside their storage. So 8 a.m. to to 10:30 a.m. So more than two hours, and they have all that done and they also did this part right here and someone is assigned cutting all the rebars so it looks like they did all the uh, footings uh, hole wow it's right against to the uh, sidewalk <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually the uh, corner post for our balcony because our post for the balcony is right against the sidewalk and then um, this one Koya said that it requires to have two footings I don't know why we need to have one over here and then this one oh interesting here we go. Oh yeah, it's doing the cuttings again. Looks like they're doing their skill fabrication for the uh, for the column. And you're gonna do how many? How many you're gonna do like that? Fourteen. Fourteen columns. Fourteen columns. Fourteen columns. Um, <laughs> yes, this is only for the for the post. Yeah, this is for the post, eh, diba? And then they have to create also for the uh, horizontal one for the second floor or on the top. Wow, they made a lot. So Kuya is continuing doing the stirrups. Which is that one. And they did so many of this already. So I brought Kuya just a drink, you know, because I'm pretty sure it's too hot for them doing all this. Hopefully, one time Christian pop up in here. So Kuya is using a. Uh... <laughs> Very resourceful. Look at what they're using to bend these wires. Instead of using gloves or flyers, they use that. Wow. You see that? There you go. He did the loop and twist. Uh -oh. 
So we request to our contractor to uh, add two more of the 16 millimeter because originally they're doing six of the 16 millimeter and two of the 12 millimeter I believe so now we're doing uh, 10 total which is eight of the 16 M and two uh, of the 12 millimeter so it looks like this hole are getting deeper <laughs> really deep and then this one is weird they combine two holes this probably like uh, one meter to here and another one meter to there. So it's like two meter wide. I don't know why it's two, two, and that one. Looks like they're done drinking the soda I brought. This one's really deep. It looks like they did all the the hole that they have to dig and then four right there super deep like two meter so if you guys are curious how much is the gap between the uh, stirrup this is actually the bottom where they're gonna put the foundation and you see it's like maybe not even two inches five centimeter five cent oh this is five centimeter in the philippines and it's two inches and then they have like three partition right here that's like very tight together then the next is like wider all the way all the way to the top is more wider <laughs> Today is not bad, it's not too hot. It's very cloudy, so there's no sun, so they can dig even more today. Alright, so Kuya will demonstrate how they tie the rebar. So he did the loop and then there's a there's a hole right there and then he twisted it. There you go, and it's all locked in together. Nice. So they're trying to lift it to separate all the rebar because he had to tie the next 16 mm. It's a lot of work. Imagine 10 of those rebar that they have to tie it up. Okay, so they're reversing it now so they can do the other side. That they have to oh. lift it. Oh, this is very dangerous with your hand. Now they're forming the other side. all right it's late afternoon looks like everyone is done working and it looks like they did um, one of this foundation uh, rebar they did it really nice I don't know if the second floor should be the same. I heard that on the second floor you have to eliminate 
uh, some rebar. Also, they started a second uh, hose, which is this one. They did halfway already. Right there. And I think they're preparing themselves for the for the dinner, shower. And let's see the digging that they did uh, on the side of the main road. It's really deep. This is the very corner. And then this is the front metal. I don't know why it's too. <laughs> okay. And again. Kuya, when are we gonna put the footings? Ah, okay, so you're just waiting for the contractor to tell you it, or you need a go signal. Ah, ah okay. Because I think this is not enough height. Re -repair pa siya. And it needs to be repaired first before they put the uh, footings. Or Because I heard that they're gonna assemble the footings right there on the bottom. Thank you guys for watching and hope you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the subscribe button and the bell button if you wanted to get notified for our next vlog. See you tomorrow. Bye!